what's good everyone today we're gonna be making a fire ass beat with a plugin called halftime which a lot of you probably know what it is it's basically a better version of um, gross beat and like or gross beat is like a walmart version of halftime basically it's like a time manipulation plugin that lets you like slow down stuff in like a particular um, length you can choose like different variations we'll go more in depth later but first I have this um, Omnisphere keys loaded up so let's just cook up like a melody with it and I'll show you guys along the way what you guys need to do with your melodies to get the best out of halftime the chords that I have in mind uh, are F minor and then we'll go to B major or B flat major and then G minor and then A flat major. Alright, so I recorded this chord progression on my piano. This is what it sounds like. So basically, after uh, laying down these chords, what we're going to do is go an octave up. So this octave. Uh, we're gonna try to just uh, put notes down in the scale and form like kind of like a harmony on top of these chords um, for specifically for the halftime because after we put halftime on it all those notes are gonna be pitched down an octave and just kind of like blend in with the chords really well so this is what I'm talking about uh I suggest just kind of playing uh, the chords and try to see what you can come up with. So uh, after messing around a lot, this is what I came up with for the top melody. And at first it sounds like there's a lot going on, which there is, but once we put um, this into Grossby, which I'm gonna link this to the first Mixer channel, which I already have, or I mean halftime, Sorry, gross beat. You guys just gotta stop using it because it's kind of trash. I mean, at least for the halftime um, part of it, for like slowing it down because gross beat is just not as good as halftime, which you'll see. So, first, I'll just show you guys what the basic um, layout of the plugin is. We have basically this is how fast you want it to be chopped up, and if you choose like eighth, it's gonna preserve the natural rhythm of it because I played eighth notes mostly in the rhythm or like 16th notes but if you choose like half or one bar it's going to really slow it down and over here you have kind of like if you choose 2x shout out 2x if you're watching this if you use 2x it's going to slow it down like just uh one octave i'm pretty sure i mean pitch it down one octave uh four times is going to do double that and this is kind of like in, in between so we're going to choose just like half initially but um, it already sounds way better honestly just because it's more smoother there's less going on and it just kind of creates more of an atmospheric feeling and let's choose one bar and see what that does If I choose one fourth, which is quarter notes, it's uh, it actually preserves the original rhythm. It's just kind of pitched down. So then 
next major thing uh, that this plugin has an advantage over gross beat is it has like a band which is basically like uh, equalizer oh, like a not, not, not necessarily an equalizer but like a frequency band and uh, what you can do is kind of select which frequencies you actually want to go into the halftime and like pitch down so I'll show you guys See if I bring it up, the um, original notes are still heard through, and that's what makes this plugin really unique because you can kind of combine it with the original melody while still having that pitch down, uh, more deep uh, melody. So I actually like that on that setting a lot, uh, but it's a lot of deep uh, frequencies down there, so I'm just gonna put like a high pass filter on. So that's pretty cool. So now the next trick I'm gonna show you guys is um, the different ways you can kind of utilize halftime to create like different layers of melodies because essentially for a beat to be really unique and not get boring, you just kind of want to switch up things and well, one, you can do that by switching an instrument, so I can choose like a different instrument, but a more uh, easier way and just like a more unique way is uh, to create like ear candy in the background, I suggest is like, so I'll mute this uh, instance of halftime and just open up another one. And basically what you're gonna have to do is, uh, if you choose this band button over here, this is basically like isolating th this one frequency of halftime, so it's gonna still apply the effect, but it, you're only gonna hear this one certain frequency of it. So I'll show you guys if I uh, just want the high end of it. See, it takes out everything, all the lows, and this can really be useful uh, if you want like something in the background. So what we're gonna do is uh, choose one fourth, maybe. Actually, I like eighth better because it gives it that like kind of sample choppy feel. If you can hear it. So what I'm gonna do now is I have the only the high frequencies kind of isolated, and I'm gonna hit this button over here. Um, this basically like enables recording of this channel, so I can uh, render it to audio. And then on my keyboard, I'm gonna press Alt R, and it uh, opens up a rendering. And I'm just gonna choose pattern and do start. So now uh, we have in our audios, we have just the high end of that and I'm just gonna mute everything over here. So that's kind of like just like a cool a little high melody that you can put on top of the chords uh, to create like a bridge or like interlude or intro. But first I'm just gonna put more effects on that and I'll show you guys how you can really make it pop. Um, first, let's just kind of EQ it. And I'll try to only use like uh, FL Studio effects, you know, for you broke people out there. <laughs> uh, just kidding. And then for, with the reverb, if you want it to be more atmospheric, just uh, take down the dry level, which basically means the original signal is not going in as much as the wet, which is the reverb signal. You don't want it to be too much, but yeah. And also you want to just separate it a little bit, stereo separate it so it's more enhanced. And then uh, what I'm going to do next is uh, just do some more stereo separation um, or like enhancing to give it a wider feel. Not too much. And then, um, so then we have our pattern over here, which is the original one. I'm going to make it, or actually we can't make it unique because we don't have two of them. So I'm going to make this one unique. And what we're gonna do on this one is just take all these high notes out. 
So then it's just the regular chords. this one over so this is just the chords and the high melody and this is what we have and, uh, this this might be just a little too much actually I'm just gonna EQ that compared to just the dry of this it really makes it sound really unique so now let's just try to you know put some drums on it because obviously you can't have a just a melody unless you're cue beats so a cool hi hat trick is like you take your second hi hat. Uh, why is it on none? Take your second hi hat and you take the velocity down just a little bit. Yeah, that's probably good. Just like, and um, you copy and paste this, and what it's gonna do is just gonna give it give it like more of a bounce, more of a natural human feel instead of just being too robotic. some YSL like slat shit with the hi-hats because it's too boring. Um. what I have for the final beat. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video.